It's time now for Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, a proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. Visit them online at academy.com. Welcome to Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today I'm joined with defensive line coach Steve Stripling. Thank Thanks, you Sarah. for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Coach, your first question comes from Matt Tidwell. He asks, um, you've said several times that, de that the defensive line is the hardest position. Why? Well, it's a good question, Matt. I think, first of all, the defensive line's job description is to be able to hold his point in the run game, and many times that involves taking on two, 300-pound men. So uh, you have to play with great stamina and strength. And then the other part of our job description, rush the quarterback and run of the football. So many times after defending your gap, uh, you have to turn and run 50 yards. And tempo offense nowadays, you have to run back, get lined up. So I think when you put it all together, it's a really stressful job. And I have great admiration for the defensive lineman. And one of those examples I'm assuming is Jordan Williams, his transition, his impact. Talk about kind of the process that you've seen him take and, and to become a defensive line. Well, first of all, Jordan, just an outstanding young man. He has a great attitude. He has great energy. Um, you know, actually, we moved him from the end position to the tackle position, asked him to put on uh, additional weight. And again, with a great attitude, he, he accepted that job. Playing inside, again, requires more double teams. And he knew what he was getting into. And, and for someone his size to get in there and compete, he has to play with great technique and great toughness, and that's what he's done. Coach, we have another question from Thomas Adams. He says, Kurt Majit is a physical, passionate, versatile player. What does Kurt bring to the Tennessee defensive line? Exactly, Thomas. I think you used the right word, passionate. I, he is fun to be around. He loves football. He's one of those young men we talk about. He has to have football in his life. And he plays with energy and plays with passion. Obviously, everybody knows he's one of our team leaders. And so it's great to be around him every day. He comes to the meeting rooms, excited to play. Um, he's our spark plug when we take the practice field. Maybe it's hot, maybe everybody's tired and sore. He's the spark plug that gets us going. So his passion is contagious and he's fun to coach. And Jennifer Hawks wants to know, when you look at game film, what is it that you track each week that makes you proud? Well, you know, again, the defensive line has uh, a motto of EAT, which is effort, accountability, and technique. So that's the first thing we track. How hard did we play? Were we accountable both in the run and the pass game? And then we evaluate our technique. And so, again, that's what I look at when I start watching film. But effort, the, the guys know the first thing we'll watch on Mondays following a game is four or five clips of effort. They might be good. They might be bad. So hopefully they're all good. And Coach, you know the tradition here at Tennessee. When you look back at this season, what do you hope that people will talk about and what do you hope to have accomplished? Well, you know, going into the season, we obviously have a defensive line room that has one senior, uh, one junior, and a bunch of young guys. And so, you know, I know it was a developmental year as far as that, but I don't want them talking about that. What I want them to talk about was the success and the patch and, and uh, the toughness and mentality the defensive line had. Well, Coach, thank you for your passion and your leadership. Yeah. And good luck with these guys. Well, thank you very much. Thank you to everybody out there.